In this tutorial, we're going to work on creating a fav icon, also known as a favorites icon, which would represent the links in your favorites for your browser, these little icons that let you know you're clicking the right link. But more importantly, this icon appears in your browser tabs up here to represent your website and help your branding. We're going to use the WordPress.org codex so we know we're doing it the right way for any blog or website or theme you might be using. And we're going to replace this little uh, HostGator snappy icon. So even though that guy is cute, it's not going to work right now. If you already have an icon, bear with us for one second because we're going to go ahead and get a new icon from Google Images. All right, so now that we're in Google Images, we can click Search Tools, and we want to make sure that our icon is labeled for reuse and that it is uh, large. You might think you need a icon-sized image or an image that's 16 by 16 pixels or 32 by 32 or something like that. However, nowadays, most browsers like Chrome that I'm using here will actually resize this icon for us and we want to give the browser a large high quality image to do that resizing on. I'm going to click on this weird looking face and then grab one of the uh, similar icons like this fellow right here. To save the icon from Google to your computer just right click save image as and now we can just rename it favicon Ico, which is a little bit different than you might have for most of your images. They'll usually be PNG or JPEG or something, but we can just go right ahead with Ico. Click Save. Click Use.Ico. All right, now the tricky part begins. According to WordPress Codex, we now want to use an FTP client to upload this file to our themes main folder. So open a new tab, click on your cPanel, which is going to be what we'll use at HostGator and will be similar at a lot of other hosts as well. Alright, now click File Manager and then find the website that you're changing. Click Go. Once you're in File Manager, don't worry if this looks a little bit confusing because we're going to walk through all of it. Double click WP Content, w double click Themes, and find the theme you're running. Storefront in this case. Alright, I already have a favicon.ico here and you might as well. If that's the case, we can just upload and copy over this. All right. And if you don't have it, then just uploading will be fine. So click anywhere really here, it doesn't matter. And uh, I'm just going to click Upload. Click Choose File. And then choose the favicon.ico that we created. Double click. And it's going to ask us if we want to upload and overwrite it, which we do. So yes. All right, if we refresh this folder, then the new fav icon should be here. There it is. And now the final step is just to add one line of code to our WordPress. So if we refresh and delete cache, then nothing happens yet. All right, snappy, the alligator is still there. But if we add uh, this new line of code right here in step five in the WordPress codex, then we should be fine. So I'm going to highlight this code, copy it, and WordPress tells us to put it um, right below the head HTML tag. To do that, go back to your dashboard, click on Appearance, Editor, and now um, we just need to open up header.php. 
maybe in your theme it's head.php it's usually header.php and we want to find this head section which starts here ending here and we can put that code anywhere in this area as long as we don't mess up the existing code so to make sure we don't mess anything up I'm just gonna paste this in at the bottom of our head alright just like that just write directly from the WordPress codec so we know we're doing it right and then click update alright now things should be looking better let's check out our website might take a second but now our new fav icon that we created will show up in the browser tab you can of course use any image or icon you want just make sure that you're allowed to use it and you can of course let me know any questions in the comments below alright thanks for watching guys enjoy and I'll see you next time